Well, hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode on the Long Life YouTube channel. my mind I figured I would share this with you that uh, we got a 2020 Globetrotter and me I could not figure out how to get the speakers to work with the DVD player like so we'll come down here and when you hit TV there there would be nothing there would be nothing at all that would come through the the speakers um, so I'm gonna share this little tip with you guys that uh, I'll put the link down below of where I got this product. I had to buy one off of Amazon. It, uh, it is basically an HDMI converter, they call it. it. Comes with instructions. So what it is, is a little block box. And how it works, up here, okay, the DVD player was up here the dvd player was double like three m adhesived to this cabinet that they built so what i did is i took like a, a butter knife and scraped it off and then i put my own this velcro so i could just slide i need to slide this dvd player out now just like that so it's just a 3m command strips but there was like a a double sticky on there so I had to pull the the DVD player out and then um, I had to these caps come off here just like that so you're gonna have to pull the radio out a little bit and so the other thing is that you have an outlet over here and this outlet only has two basically just two outlets so you need um, its own power with a little USB adapter and you can't use this USB adapter that comes here that is for the radio if you have like a bunch of songs on a memory card This does not power. I thought that oh, I just robbed the power from here, but I just got a Basically a six block ones for the radio ones for the DVD blu-ray player and then the other one is power for the box so It's gonna take us a little bit. It doesn't cost very much but how it works is you're gonna basically take your HDMI cable that runs into your DVD player and you're gonna run that into this box the HDMI converter and then from there you're gonna have to get the shortest HDMI cord that you can get mine was I think like three foot so then that'll go from there from the HDMI converter back into the DVD player or blu-ray player so you're also gonna need a, a short optical cord to go from the HD, HDMI converter into the back of the radio. Okay, so that's why you gotta pull the radio out. So you're gonna have a short cord go from the radio to the converter box, and then a short cord go from the converter box to your Blu-ray player. I will tell you that when, when you do put it on TV, okay, there is a slight delay to the TV over here. Um, it might be like, I don't know, 500 milliseconds or something, but there definitely is a difference on a little bit of a delay as far as like the people's, people's mouth with the wording, just a little bit. Um, but I don't really notice that much, but I will tell you that it does take a couple minutes for it to turn on. Like when you put it on optical, give it about four or five minutes and then it'll actually turn on and then you can watch a movie with more than just the TV sound. You can really get it sound up pretty loud in here. And we'll demonstrate that right now. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna turn up, turn up the volume. Obviously we got SpongeBob going. And this is just the sound on the TV. It blows my mind, and I'm not trying to bash Airstream any bit, but it just blows my mind that from the factory, 
that you wouldn't have this hooked plumbed into the big speakers. I don't understand why, uh, and I'm not the only one. So that's not a dig, but it just blows my mind that they didn't do that from the factory. So now I'm gonna turn it on, turn up the volume here. Okay. And you can hear it coming out of these speakers. You can do the front bedroom, back bedroom. Here they are, right over there. And it gets loud. Try not to surprise them. Patrick, can you believe it? So that's a little tip that I want to share with you guys. But like I said, if you're real anal about it, there is a little slight delay between the actual person's vocal and then their lips. But I mean, hey, we're camping anyway. So I mean, how much can you complain about? Um, this isn't, you know, IMAX theater by any means. But yeah, so I figured I would share that with you guys. Just pull your DVD player out. I'll put the link in the description below. If you guys have any comments, um, if there's anything that you guys would like to add to this, be sure to believe, uh, leave a comment below. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up like button and be sure to hit that subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to our channel. Lots of more good stuff coming. Thanks for watching another video on the Long Life YouTube.